Hi, I'm Dr. T. Scrozian. Did you know that our brains continue to develop from when we're born up until our late teen years? As a matter of fact, when we look at the brain, our gray matter develops completely by around age 8, 9, and our white matter develops around age 18 and 19. So one of the things that we have to understand is that once a child is born, the brain is continuously developing all the way into their late teens. And one of the things that we are all faced with today in our society is this explosion of childhood developmental disorders. The rates of ADD, ADHD, autism, dyslexia continue to grow. Kids are having a very hard time maintaining healthy brain function. And many of this is really due to a neuroinflammatory cascade. So when you look at the brain, the brain is still migrating neurons up from the first few years of life and neurons are branching into different regions of the brain. Now, what prunes these neurons, what allows these neurons to go in the right direction and to have proper connections are cells in the brain called glial cells. And glial cells work very uh, actively to prune and modulate how neurons migrate and that they migrate to the right uh, locations and they get rid of any debris or any kind of protein aggregation or any dead cells that may be there so you have the best type of development. Now one of the things that we know is a common ideology of ch children that have developmental disorder is brain inflammation. When these glial cells become activated to deal with an inflammatory cascade, they can't do their job maintaining neuron migration and neuron connectivity and neuron synaptic responses necessary for neurodevelopment. So one of the most important things you need to know as a clinician is that when you see a child that has any type of developmental delay, whether they have a cognitive issue, such as ADD, or whether they're suffering from very extreme mechanisms involved with the autism spectrum disorder, there's definitely a neuroinflammatory component. And this is due to things that activate the glial cells. In my upcoming course on neuroinflammation, I'm going to go over all these pathways with you. I'm gonna show you all the research, and I'm gonna show you how we address neuroinflammation, and not only adults, but also in children. We're gonna go through each of the things that can turn on brain inflammation, whether it's dietary, whether it's uh, lifestyle, whether it's environmental. And the other thing that's also very interesting is that research is showing that the baby's brain, the newborn's brain, can be dramatically influenced by the state of neuroinflammation in their mother. And that the mother's microbiota can actually influence the activity of astrocytes in children's brain and this is also a critical thing to look at when we look at prenatal care so anyways we have lots of interesting concepts and lots of clinical pearls to share with you and i hope to see you in our upcoming neuroinflammatory course thank you